All right, so I want to talk to you today about rep tempo, which is one of the most important training variables in the program. You know, you're going to see sets, reps, you're going to monitor your weight, and you're going to see the exercise. But the most important variable is actually rep tempo. So that's how you're going to perform each exercise. And we're going to put, we're going to quantify how long it takes you to do each rep. Okay, so in your program, you're going to see a four digit number, which will look something like this. I'm gonna to explain to you what each number means, okay? So, let's take, for example, the bench press. Okay, so if you were, with the barbell, say if you were to unrack the barbell, right? And we start here at number four. You're gonna take four seconds down. One, two, three, four. You're gonna pause for one second and then drive and then pause at the top. So the four seconds down is the eccentric phase of the lift, which is your, your muscles are lengthening. The one at the bottom is a pause. It's an isometric contraction in a lengthened state. And then the X means the intent to explode or to drive hard. And then the one at the top is to stabilize, but again, in an isometric contraction in a shortened state. So your muscles are gonna be short and tight, all right? So as you can see, if this takes four seconds down on a bench press, one second pause, you're gonna drive up hard for an X and then pause at the top. That's a si that'll be six seconds per rep. So if I was to give you five sets of five, so you're doing five reps per set, that's, it should take you 30 seconds per set. Now that's important because in the program, if we're trying to get you stronger, you wanna be you wanna be completely set 30 seconds or less. Anything higher than 30, then we're looking at more muscular endurance and hypertrophy, which means muscle growth. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple, a couple exercises and show you how this is really applied. So we're on a rep tempo, if I was to give you a rep tempo on a squat, it could be goblet, it could be a barbell. You know, there's many forms of the squat, but starting from the top, if we do a four, one, X, one, it would look like this. So you say, pick up the weight or you're backing up the barbell, right? Get your feet set. It'll be one, two, three, four, pause for a second, drive up hard and then pause for a second at the top. One, two, three, four, pause, and then drop. I'm gonna show you a push-up, but also for the bench, you're just getting start at the top. If you were to unrack the bar, right? You start from the top, four seconds down, pause, drive hard, up, pause at the top. So on the push-up, though, same thing. You sit up on the top, okay? Here, one, two, three, four, pause, drive up hard for an X, and then pause at the top. On a squat, let's say squat, let's say, uh, bench press, you're going to start, you would start with the four, right? But it's different for a pull. Okay, let's say if I'm going to do a pull up, which I'll show you, let's say I want to do a three seconds down, no pause at the bottom, and then I want to pull up nice and smooth for one second, at the top I want to hold for two. You're actually on a pull up because you're starting from the bottom and you're in a stretch position, the first move is going to be a contraction, which would be, actually, you would start with a one. Then you would go two second pause and then three seconds down. So these numbers don't change. The first number is always the eccentric, which is the lengthening or the lowering down. All right, so for a pull up, using the tempo three, zero, one, two, here it is. Grab the bar, you're gonna hang, okay, fully lengthened. You're gonna pull up nice and smooth. Pause, one, two, and that's one, two, three. No pause, pull, hold, one, two, one, two, three. So you can see, having a tempo in mind, it's gonna help you with your technique and improve the quality of your training. Over time as well, you're, you're, you're gonna save your joints, your tendons, all your ligaments, all your connective tissues because it's gonna force you to train properly with good technique.